hello how's it going everyone in today's video we're going to be looking at how to display a pop-up pop-up are like a model whereby when you click on a button a like a div is displayed in the center of the screen having said that let's get right in first of all we have to create a new we have to create a new package called uh, let me call this a uh, pop-up And then inside of this pop-up, I'm going to create a new folder, a new class called uh, pop. Sorry, pop.js and not just pop. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a functional component, RFC. Like in the previous of my videos, I used to say how, how I was able to generate that boilerplate code because of the a library or rather a extension that I installed. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say const to declare a variable at the top pop up comma let's set pop up then sorry I'm going to say use state like so And then I'm going to say is state right there. Now I'm going to create a function called uh, open, and then I'm going to say arrow function is equal to now say switch to switch in between. Now I say pop pop up. And I'll say case close CLOSE set pop up to be what open set pop up to be open and I'll say case open if it is open set the pop up to be close set pop up to be sorry single quotes close otherwise the default would be set pop-up to close as you can see that's default here also then i would i also have to return so the execution stops there and i'll say return and then also return so not remove return and then i close out our switch case and then the methods body itself so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here i'm going to say uh, button this is the button that will trigger the click so i'm going to call it open or rather i'm going to give it a value of open and i'll say on click on click c-l-i-c-k c-l-i-c-k is equal to our uh, arrow function not capital letter e small letter e events is equal to open sorry open like so then i'm going to come down here i'm going to create another function rather in here and not down here i'm going to call this function pop up the js so in this pop up i'm going to simply arrow fc and create a functional components Going to make it to be a function. Then I'm going to come back here. Now let me save this. I'm going to come back. I'm going to say pop up. I believe it was imported. No, it wasn't. So now let me import that. Import. I don't know why my pop up is not working. My autocomplete is not working. But let's continue. So I'm going to pass in a, a prop called some pop is equal to sorry i say pop up like so and i'm going to close it out now this function now or rather this component will now be the trigger or rather will be the div that will display as the pop up so now let me come here and then let me come and build our pop up so first things first i'm going to pass in our props then i'm going to console log it just to be sure that it's changing 
in the right format some props i think that's what we call the yeah, some pop not some props then i'm going to come here i'm going to say this is an empty jsx container now say if props yes props dot some pop is equal to open if so then we do this we create a start com component container that's what i call it i'm going to import sorry not say import container so not container sorry I don't have no hard copy this month, so I'm looking um, a bit rusty. So I'm going to say start, import start from start component, like so. Then I'm going to come down here and say otherwise, don't display anything. And that's it. Let me bring this down. And I'm going to head over to the bottom. I'm going to say const, const container is equal to start dot I think that's it. And I say, now let's style our our pop up high to be of a 400 pixel then the way to be of a right it should be of a 30 percent 30 percent of the screen view height then left will be 50 percent then top will also be 50 percent then border radius to make it look okay going to be 10 pixels then i say box you also have some effect of a of a like a big that shows that it's a pop-up box shadow i'm going to say rgba i say 100 100 111 0 0.2 0 pixel then i'm going to show you guys where i get this uh box shadow where well, i don't have to type it out i just copy it and paste it so let me just follow on with me and just finish it up i say 29 pixel <coughs> dot zero pixel like so now say dash web dash web dash web kit this so then i'll say dash transform Trans uh, translate minus fifty percent. Now why I'm doing this is to center it in the center of the screen. Fifty percent. So like so. So what I did is I say webkit does transform colon translate minus fifty percent minus fifty percent just to give it that smack in the middle. Then I'll say transform colon. Now I'll copy the same line. And I'll paste it in here like so. Uh, let's see. Transform. I'll space this out. Why is this not turning green? Or oh, gray rather. No, well, I'll come back to this. Then I'll say uh, background. G R O E N D dash uh, color. I'll say that of a white. Now I'll give you the position of. Uh, absolute then i give you display sorry display flex then i'll say align items no i, I would i will not align items first let us run it and see what we have then i'll not align items no what i think i'll just get rid of this because it doesn't really have an effect so i'm going no i'll leave it first let me save then I'll come back here and then I will say save now. When I should head over here, I will say import pop. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I say import pop pop or rather pop from pop pop slash pop like so. Then I'll head over here and I'll say, uh, I have a lot of space. 
pardon me guys that my code might be looking a bit uh, unkept but i actually use this for my youtube videos so all this you are seeing here are previous videos i've made with it i don't want to always create a fresh project all over again it's just the same so i'm going to say uh, pop like so and i'll save it now i should head over to our browser right here and i say localhost 3000 you see that we have open okay i think i have a typo some or not a typo but uh Let me head over to pop pop and see. Uh, okay, here that is it. So I have to get rid of that. So save it. And then I click on open. So we have a div. But our div is not well centered. The div is uh, at this point. So now let's fix that. So now I'm going to head to this part. Uh, that is the pop up itself. I'm going to see. Uh, the whip kit the transform translate then transform translate now i'm going to align items align dash items let's just say center and i say justify justify dash content i'm also going to say center uh, if I should save this now, I should get something to work with. Let me quickly go through my left is 50, 30. Now let's quickly look at this and I refresh. I should click. Still is not in the center. Okay, just give me a minute, guys, and I'll get up to the bottom of it. So, guys, actually, I figured out what was the issue. I wasn't typing the transform properly. This was supposed to be transform and not transform. So, that was it. So now if I should save this now and I should head over to our browser, as you can see now I should refresh and I click on the open, you see our div is centered in the middle of the screen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say header 1 or rather header 5, header 1 is too big. And I'm going to say content, content is, cent is centered. Nice centered, cent centered right. And then I should head over here and then I refresh. I click on open. It's can see now the div is centered in the middle. So, this is how you create a centered div in a React.js. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and then subscribe for more videos. Uh, I produce videos on a weekly basis, so I'll try my best to keep up uploading more content. So thank you and uh, bless. God bless.